All right, guys, so welcome to day two of this series where we are typing the entire Bible. And yeah, we're on Matthew 2 today. These are the stats of our first journey, uh, or our first chapter here. Um, words per minute graph, accuracy graph. Yeah, I mean, pretty cool stuff. But um, yeah, we're on Matthew 2. Let's go ahead and uh, see how much we got here. This is all we got. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, Jerusalem saying where is he who is born king of the Jews for we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him when King Herod heard it he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him Gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he asked them where the Christ would be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this is written through the prophets. You, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are in no way least among the princes of Judah. For out of you shall come a governor who shall shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod secretly called the wise men and learned from them exactly what time the star appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. When you have found him, bring me words so that I also may come and worship him. They, having heard the king, went their way, and behold, the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. They came into the house and saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him, opening their treasures. They offered to him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, being warned in a dream that they shouldn't return to Herod. They went back to their own country another way. Now, when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. And they stay there or and stay there 
until I tell you, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. He arose and took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet saying out of Egypt I called my son then Herod when he saw that he was mocked by the wise men was exceedingly angry and sent out and killed all the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all the surrounding countryside from two years old and under according to the exact time which he had learned from the wise men then that which was spoken by jer amiah the prophet was fulfilled saying a voice was heard in rama lamentation weeping and great mourning rachel weeping for her children she wouldn't be comforted because they are no more but when herod was dead behold an angel of the lord appeared in a dream to joseph in egypt saying arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of israel for those who sought the the young child's life are dead he he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of israel but when he heard that archelaus was reigning over judea in the place of his father herod he was afraid to go there being warned in a dream he withdrew into the region of Galilee or Galilee and came and lived in a city called Nazareth that it might be fulfilled which was spoken into the region or spoken through the prophets he will be called a Nazarene. All right, average words per minute, 58. Let's go ahead and review that. Um, okay, I'm not sure how the minutes work. That doesn't really make sense to me. Um, I guess 44 minutes total time, I guess. i not really sure. But we had one super streak, 18 streaks, 580 words. Cool. All right, well, that's, uh, that's chapter two, and uh, we are on Matthew three for the next episode. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a great day and peace.